Right now we're in the Botanical Garden in City Park next to the Sculptor Garden. My guest is Hernan Caro. Hernan blends nature and art together in a beautiful manner. Hernan, welcome to the show. Hey Charles, good to see you. I've been in New Orleans uh, 30 years. Uh, how, what it makes me come to New Orleans? Uh, the culture, the music, the food. I was born in Cartagena, Colombia, and uh, it's a city, it's an old city, and it has a lot of nature surrounding the ocean, uh, a lot of uh, rainforest. So it was a big influence for me. One of the things that make me real proud is the fact that the park, they really likes my sculptures in here, and uh, that makes it everything for me. The first time that I came over, I noticed that they worked the path of the garden surrounded by the trees. So I decided to whatever I was going to create here, it has to be a nice relation, interaction between nature and my pieces. At the park, we started with one piece. Uh, they were very attracted to the piece. They liked it so much. And they asked me if I want to put some other pieces in there. And I said, yes, as many as you want. How many I can put? So. They told me I can do four pieces, and that's what we have over here at the park. Right now, I'm creating sculpture for the crew of Awe. It's a sculpture that resembles an elephant. The inspiration is more like a social justice, I would say, to nature. The abuse that elephants go to in the daily basis in, in Africa, and not only Africa, all over the world. So I just want to bring awareness. When I create my pieces, I take into consideration all my wells have to be structural, sound, structural proof. We're in New Orleans. Every year we have the hurricane situation that we have to be aware that a storm and things like that can affect those outdoor pieces. I have to take that into consideration. I've done a lot of work around town. Every time that we have like a storm or high winds and stuff like that, I always go over there just to see how my pieces would stand, you know, with the weather. And uh, so far, everything has been fine. No, no, no uh, casualties, no damage or anything. One of the reasons why I try real hard to get involved in having my pieces in public places is because I know there will be some connection to the public in every level. Schools, little kids, young kids, when they come to the park and they see my creations, they can get inspired by that if somebody has a little bit of a artistic vein in their self, you know, like they will see something that they can make them make a decision and, and be more productive uh, to the environment and socially to, to, to the city. To make my sculptures it involves a lot of work. It involves a lot of uh, uh, welding, a lot of burns, a lot of, it's very intensive when it comes to work with this metal. I have, uh, I would say, decent equipment large machines and stuff like that to make all this thing happen. Any welding machine that you can think of it, I have it. I have equipment, presses, rollers, uh, all the things that you need to, to make this thing happen. But at the end, it is, the most important thing is to be creative, to, be, to have a great imagination. Because most of the time when I use those machines, I'm using it in a way that if I give it to a, a machine shop or a welder shop, they will go like, oh, I never thought that I can use this machine in that way. Or not. Thank you for being on our show. My pleasure, Charles.